Okay, everybody, there was a request for uh, teaching meditation or how to record a meditation. So I do have a MacBook, um, and with MacBook comes GarageBand. So I do all of my recording on GarageBand. You can see here I've already recorded a healing meditation, and I'm going to show you now how to begin from scratch. So you go to File, you hit New. No, we'll just save that. It's going to let me do this. Here we go. Hold on. I love technology. Okay. GarageBand is super funny interface when you're trying to share it. It really struggles, so I apologize. This might take a couple chances. You're going to choose empty project. Unless you're like real good with a lot of these things, I recommend empty project. So we choose that. Hopefully this is working. It's saying it's paused. <laughs> Create audio. Okay. So then try this again. Okay. So here you are on the screen wherein you would begin to record. So here's your audio. It looks just like, I don't know if you guys remember if I'm just super dating myself, but it's like a cassette player. It really is. So once I put my mind in the idea that this is a cassette player and we're merely recording on a cassette, it made it a lot less fucking scary, okay? So you're gonna hit record. The first thing that happens is that this purple thing right here starts ticking. So you just click it and then, ain't no, take it. Uh, no more ticking. So now the voice is being recorded and we're able at this moment in time to create a beautiful, loving, gorgeous, beautiful, spectacular, mellow meditation with just your voice, okay? We're gonna stop record. And then I just scooch it back. This is our scooch back button right here. Once you hit stop, you can hit that. And then up here in this far right corner, there's a teeny tiny little picture of a camera, some film and some music. So once you've been to Ben Sounds and you've downloaded the music that you want, it shows up right here in this lower case. So, uh, I, if you've ever listened to any of my meditations, um, I'm so fucking lazy, you guys. There's just certain things that I'm not lazy about, and there's things that I just sometimes can't even get over how lazy I can be. I have found like three songs I like on Ben Sounds, and um, this is one of them, and I just keep replaying it in all my meditations because it's my favorite. And I don't like, uh, I don't like ancient sounds. I like um, rap. So <laughs> that's what it is. I'm going to take my earphones out so you guys can hear this too. Okay, so here's the important thing is if I were to play this right now, now you can see that it sounds pretty much the same. That means that both of them have the same volume on them. So we want the volume of the audio oftentimes to be higher than the music if you want them to hear your voice. So just that little thing right here starts ticking. So you just turn that up if you need to. Uh, no more ticking. So now the voice is being recorded and we're able at this moment. So I notice always that my S's are really um, sharp. So then I come in here and I tone some of these down. I like a little ambiance and a little reverb on mine because it makes my voice sound cool. Moment in time to create a beautiful, loving, gorgeous, beautiful, spectacular, mellow meditation. 
it's a really slight difference, but it's enough that I can notice. Um, and I can also tell that my mic is broken. Otherwise, uh, you'd be able to hear me better in this. Um, but that's literally it. That's literally it. Oh, but I shouldn't say that because it's really, that's not it. So take this little magic wand here and scooch it all the way up. So if in most cases I record my voice and in most cases my voice is, you know, 20 minutes long. So you have to get to the end of every song and right here, see how that's flat right here? So where that's flat is there's no, there's no music, you guys. So you can be super creative and you can choose a totally different sound and put a totally different vibe right there and it adds up. So let me just show you how that sounds. That's up. And you can see just with that, that it just changed vibes. So sometimes when I'm doing a recorded meditation, I can start with something a little bit more jammy and like really jam out on it. And then sometimes it's real mellow when I start and then we get jammed out. So sometimes I change up music. Sometimes I'll just back to back the same song over and over and over again so that they're looped in. And so that way they feel um, like they can just kind of stay consistent in their vibes. So then this is the next most important part. Go up to your share button. And instead of save right away, you go to share. Now this is where it's a super important part. So I would set up your SoundCloud account. If you don't have one already, you can get a SoundCloud account for free. Once you've got that set up, you're gonna hook it up and they're gonna show you how to hook it up on GarageBand. As soon as you've got it, they'll like send you to the whole thing. So here's what's so rad. And if you're a podcaster, you already have this. SoundCloud will hook right up to your podcast as well. So you can even just turn this into a thing. So that would, I'm not gonna send this because obviously it's just me inviting you guys to do that, but you put in your title, you can choose on SoundCloud as well, whether it's public or if it's gonna be a private visibility. You can allow downloading, allow streaming um, and anything else. So you get to choose all of that. You can put the title, the artist, the composer, all the information in that. So that's one. Number two is if you wanna put it up on your website, if you're a Wix website user, this is the thing. But on most websites, they now have a place where you can hit a recording. So what you have to do there too is export song to disc, which makes no sense again, because we don't have cassette players and we don't use discs anymore. But you export song to disc and it, the rainbow wheelie thing will pop up. But here's what you need to know. You want it to be an MP3. So all you're really doing is creating an MP3. Low and medium is about all anybody can take on their websites. So if you're like just uploading a little recording for your clients or something of that nature, then you don't want more than a medium recording. Now, if you're working in a real recording situation, then obviously none of this applies. <laughs> if you're really good at this, this whole thing will be a joke to you and you shouldn't watch it at all. But for those of you just starting out, GarageBand is your best friend and you can do all your recordings on this. So um, that's sort of the beautiful thing is like all recordings can be done here. And also to you guys, here's another interesting is I can go to, how do I do that? There is a way as well. And if you get to this point that you wanna understand how to, but you can take your Zoom call recording there's two spaces on Zoom, but you can take the vocal recording and upload it onto this as well. So you can do everything off of Zoom and then put it on to GarageBand so that you can then put it onto SoundCloud and then put it into an MP3 if you wanted to put it on your website. 
So let me know if you want me to make you that video and I will do that. Okay, hope that helped. Lots of love you guys. Have such a good day.